did you get to this point? Because you were a dancer yourself. Yeah, originally I was a dancer um, and I found uh, a way of uh, moving myself as, as all dancers do and found that um, uh, creatively I was um, searching for more. Um, and I found that I needed to experiment more. So I found my way into choreography and to understand how people move and how to tell stories and narrative. Um, so that's, that's how I found choreography and then it just developed and I started working on my craft and uh, started contacting choreographers and directors and posing questions to them and then developed my own voice and still am, still finding how I'm communicating uh, stories, how I'm uh, exploring bodies, uh, yeah, so lots of different things. How do you communicate what it is you want to your dancers? Ooh, um, probably by imagery or text. Um, it's always handy for me to have an assistant in the room because I, between us we can communicate and we can understand, okay, contextually, does that work? Does that mean what we're trying to mean? And for me, I think dance and my choreography should be accessible to everyone. So if my mum or anyone who comes in should be understand the narrative baseline, whether it's um, thought-provoking or not, they should understand the concept, and that's kind of what I'm driving for. So tell me about the show that you're going to be putting on on Sunday. Oh, wow. Um, it's a piece called Trotters. Um, it's in collaboration with the Nashu Jazz Orchestra. Um, commissioned um, composer is Thomas Haynes, and the lyricist is Sam Knight. Um, it's a beautiful score, uh, nice swing jazz, about 15 minutes, um, and the cast is around about 20, 22. Um, and there's an eight-piece band as well. So it's a very exciting uh, tale of um, the three little pigs, but in a twist version uh, set in a jazz cafe. So it's uh, not your average sort of uh, 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 story from the three little pigs. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, going to be telling the story in a very um, humorous way, but there's also a dark element to it. So it's really exciting for uh, the audience to come and view. Teasing us, it's really yeah. good. I like the description, yeah. not telling too much. No, just... 20, it's 22 dancers, I mean, that is that is a huge amount of management for you as a... Yeah, because because you have, like, the, the main cast and then you, what, and the ensemble, and then you have your covers as well. So it's trying to stir the pot with the, the cast, with the dancers, and also stir the pot with musicians. And musicians themselves, they have to have such attention to them as well because they need their sound check, they need to be like might properly and they need to have these certain things, acoustics and they need dancers, they need to have such um, nurturing of their, their character um, and these are young dancers as well so they're not professionals so you have to really like nurture them and really grow them and uh, give them the support that they need to be able to perform the work and for them even to grow and to uh, stimulate their own minds as well within the work because it's really important. Yeah. What's the sort of age range of the dancers you've got in your piece? Um, I think it's 16 to 18. 16 to 18. And how old are you? I'm 23. Right, so there's not, there's not a huge difference, but I, no. you know, I guess that little bit of extra few years has made a difference for you in, in terms of experience. Yeah, I mean, because I've worked in a range of different mediums within fashion and commercial and the musical theatre and contemporary dance, so it's bringing all what I've already learned over the couple of years. Um, and bring it into the studio and it's, I mean, I'm learning from them and I've learned so much um, over my course of the nine days that we did rehearsal. So it's, it's, it's rewarding for both of us. They're learning from me and I'm learning from them and I'm always growing and I'm always searching for answers and questioning things and going, how can I make myself better in this rehearsal situation and how can I communicate effectively to them and to the audience? And um, is that different, do you think, working with older, older people to younger people? Um, I just think like the maturity in, is, is, is sometimes different because um, you can get mature 16 year old and you can get mature 18 year old but then you can get someone who's 25 who is not, who's worked a long time but maturity and um, initiative is not there. So it, it depends, well, I know loads of dancers who are like 17, 18 who are very, very mature for age and I know that I will work with them in the future because they just have this they, they just they get what it is, like how to be in a studio, how, to, how the industry works, and so you can't just teach that. And it's, it's really nice when you see that because you know they're going to do well. And it's, it's all great being, being like in, I don't know how, eight credits at the West End, but if someone's just got their drive and initiative and just knows how to work for themselves and with, but with their body and their mind and they can talk to people, that's just an amazing thing, and you can't really teach that. Uh, so. They're the ones that behave. Yeah, yeah. It's always, you can have a laugh. And I'm, I'm one of these kind of like choreographers. I like to have a laugh, I like to have a fun environment. But at the end of the day, 
the work needs to be done. And if, if it doesn't get done at the end, then it gets a bit serious. Yeah. But I was, I was taught that by um, Stephen Meir. He, he was always said he's a lovely guy up front, and then, but if you, don't cross, if you cross him, then yeah. no. There's you your to, line. Yeah, there's your line, and that's you. And then we need to come down and be a bit more serious and get the work done. Yeah. Cause it's, um, it's about having that a level environment. You can't be a choreographer and um, not be lovable to everyone and caring because the energy of the room just doesn't work. Um, so it's really important that you collaborate and that you really listen to everyone and you make sure that everyone's supported. And yeah, and that's, that's the way, for me, I think that's the way of achieving greatness with the work is making sure everyone's comfortable, everyone's uh, secure in what they need to do, whether it's cast, whether it's creators, whether it is the musicians, whether it's the stagehand, the, the producer, everyone needs to know what they're doing and you need to know what they need to be able to do their job. That's a huge responsibility. It is, it is, and, it's all, and I'm always learning, because uh, it's, 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 it's interesting jumping from different mediums because everyone does, different, does differently, and everyone needs different things in different mediums, so I love that challenge of jumping different sectors, and I can try to understand how, what people need fashion designers, then uh, uh, music singers, and then into producers, and it's just a learning curve for me. Really fascinating. And how does it feel to put on your work? So it's been your idea. You've seen it through the rehearsals. You're putting it on onto the Sadler's Well stage. It's incredible. I mean, I, I perform them myself as the dancer, so now to have the opportunity to perform, uh, to to have them perform uh, my work on the stage is incredible. And it's and I wouldn't be without here without the support of the National Ballet, like all the other creatives and outside peers and mentors. Like. It's not, it's not my idea, it's originally my idea, but it's carved through so many channels of different people's opinions and thoughts. So you can never take full credit for the idea because the idea was like a baby, a fetus, and someone else puts an idea, someone else puts the idea, and then it grows and it, it makes something. Um, so I really believe that. I mean, I believe that I'm here because of the people that are around me that I work with and the, the people that support me outside. And I think it's really important. I think a lot of people forget that it's not, I'm not the head honcho, I'm just not. It's, it's the people around me that support me that makes the product. Yeah. It's an incredible opportunity to have it here in this city, you know. In yeah, I mean, sadly as well, you couldn't get any more prestigious for that for dance as well. And it's, it's a great, great place for choreographers to, to experiment and to, like, to get their work seen. So very, very fortunate and lucky to know that, I, I think I got, that I got this commission. So. Finally, where do you go from here? Is there an ultimate, ultimate aim where you want to be in your career? To make history. I know it's such a big thing, but it, there's only a couple of people in, in the history of dance and the history of time art that have actually made a stamp, like Bob Fosse, Michael Kidd. Um, these sort of people live on, and, and this is the sort of thing I want to do. I don't know how you create history, but I always say to my dancers or every project I do, I want to be part of like a piece of history that people... You know, I remember pieces like from City Theatre and Dance, like the TV show, that were done 10 years ago, and you go, that's part of history, that's part of my memory. And you remember pieces like that, sad as well as like um, from Akram Khan, you remember like uh, other pieces of work that have really inspired you and, and changed the way you think, like Scots the Boys, the musical, the Garrick. It was an incredible musical and it moved me and it changed the way that I saw musical theatre. And so that I want to put my own stamp on, I don't know, the dance world or the art world and really make history with whatever I can provide and yeah, I think that's that's the main goal for me, as well as as well as like getting the checklist of like people to work with and collaborators and theatres and stuff. But I think the end goal is to make history, whichever whatever that means to myself and to the world. I don't. So, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Wonderful.